How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dominic and I'm bringing you guys Bayclan's Warwin number 193 here and as you guys can see it is quite a big wall this one, 60 attacks so that is a 30 vs 30 wall here and we did win by 74 to 55 and if I just scroll through these one, these attacks we didn't really clean off their lower attacks because people like me and a few others were attacking too high and wasted our attacks of course yeah so like me I got one three star then thought okay I might go a bit higher and I wasn't a good choice because as you just saw there I did get a one star but nonetheless getting into the attacks sorry for that getting into the attacks um <laughs> I guess we might as well give this guy the first attack here our number 15 on their number one base here this is pretty much this is not a maxed out base, but this is a very, very good leveled base here. He hasn't bought his, well, he has bought all experts. He hasn't upgraded his defenses to the proper Town Hall 10 standard, but this is worth showing in any situation here. And yeah, so R15 and Richard here attacking. So as you can see, he's coming with a go wipe attack strategy. Three golems, I think it is, even four maybe. But he starts off here by just using two golems to distract the defenses, then puts three or four wall breakers to get all those thingies. What's it called? Those walls open. So, yeah, it's a four golem attack strategy. And once he puts down all those golems, he can start with the earthquakes. And of course, four earthquakes can destroy any level wall, even if they're level one. And there you have it. So now he's broken. He's come from the side to try pick up as many um, percentage points and as well avoid those giant bombs kind of there yeah. so 22 percent in the lava hound does pop here quite a lot of lava pups all the troops in there are confused at the moment and now the pecker of course is confused he doesn't know what he's doing i don't even know what he's hitting at he's dead right now the golems are still standing and at the moment in this situation he must have been like god this is not good at all but as you can see that queen is just out of range for that multi-target inferno tower Thank goodness, and the Queen is here in the Town Hall without anything shooting at her. Now something shooting at her, two Expos are shooting at her. Luckily the ability is still there, can use the ability, and that Town Hall goes down. But only one star now at 35%, and he's only got, well now he has two minions up, one wizard, four archers, and two barbarians. And up here at the top, only, well he needs 11 more percent, he's got one archer in the corner here. Two minions taking two different structures, that is brilliant tact not tactics, but brilliant chemistry between those two minions. And now, so yeah, so once a minion, will it, it goes on to the mortar and still nothing is shooting at that minion. So those minions are proving vital at the moment. As I speed things up a little bit here, two minions on that mortar. What about that dark elixir storage? Even two more defense, not defenses, even two more structures these minions are taking. So a big difference these two minions are making to this raid here. And finally one minion goes down. And once this one's done with that Dark Elixir storage, that will be about 48% here. So he still needs two more structures, I think. And what better place to get it than three builder huts in this corner. Oh my gosh. And the luck just pays off. He did spam down so many troops. 49% here. And the saviour of the day for Richard here is this one minion who does take that Dark Elixir storage and wraps it up for a two star on their number one base with almost max walls. So what a beautiful attack. And that was just to end the war here. If I just take a look at the war events, this happened 30 minutes until the war end. And that put, that was just, oh, what's the saying? God, I forgot the saying. Um, That was salt to the, ugh, salt to the wounds. I don't know what the saying is again, but... Anyway, so what else can we look at? What other attack can we have a look at? Might take a look at Anthony here, number 16, attacking their number 20. Not the, not the strongest of bases here, but this war, we, I think we were very unfairly matched with them. They were not as strong as us at all here. And he's coming in with a Gola Loon attack strategy here. And what can I say at the moment? Two golems down along just the right side of a base, followed by the queen, a few wizards, and the wall breakers. Now, hopefully, they can open up into that compartment. One wall, yes, they do open up into that compartment. And the two golems can nicely shield off those king and queen and the few wizards. And as the golems are entering the, towards the core of a base here, Rage Bell does go down, and the king's ability is activated instantly here once, a, once a, he enters a base. And now the dragon is down, and... <laughs> Heroes are still brilliantly healthed. Queen hasn't taken a single hit point. 
and now the Golar part of a raid can come. Not the Golar, but the Laloon part of a raid can come. And he's using haste spells here, and like I said before and loads of times, I'm not good with haste spells whatsoever. And you can see he's placed those haste spells tremendously, tremendously placed, so beautiful position here. And those, and now the last one goes, to, well the air defense is still standing with one Lava Hound luckily there. Once that Lava Hound's near, Yes, that air defense is focused on the Lava Hound, and now all air defenses are down, and that those balloons didn't really use that rage spell too much there. But the Queen is still standing here, if she's able to destroy this mortar, but now she dies, okay, so it was just seconds away from me failing commentary there. But 70% in, plenty of balloons still standing, and we can fast forward this rate to a beautiful 100%, oh, that, that, <laughs> that splash damage from that air mine. Or air bomb, but 10 seconds left 99% town hall of course is the last structure to go down if he ran out of time there That would be so painful, but yeah, it was a beautiful three-star attack and Next now we can have a look at Powell his name is all numbers, but we do call him Paris here, and he is Number 24 attacking the number 24. He's got max hogs level 2 golems and a level 5 queen here starts off it by triggering off the clan castle troops with a few hogs, I think about two or three, maybe one. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, but he still gets the job done. Takes out the dragon, and then the poison spell does go down. But when you have bases like this, where everything is in the corner, it's very hard to get your troops to focus on the dragon. As you can see, the wizards are still focusing on these. Look, this one wizard here still focusing on that gold mine. He's not paying attention to clan castle troops. But sorry, luckily the king acted as a beautiful shield for all those troops and the queen helped him off as well from a behind and now the two golems go down three golems go down and brilliantly placed so that the queen and few wizards are still protected shielded by those golems and now once I don't know I wasn't thinking go hog was a strategy for this base but he really wanted to have a go and the hogs go down not really placed as in a what's the word for it um not really placed in the not not really strategically placed here, like picking each defense. I forgot the name for it. For it, not very professional. But now two hogs either side of a base. Of course, whoa, a hate spell does go down. So that's a very interesting idea brought by Paris here. Still golems and those golems not doing too much here. Those hogs from hogs are nicely healthed here. Hopefully he can. Those hogs can stay alive. No giant bombs. I don't think so. Unless there's one there, but. Once those hogs deal with those defenses, he does put a haste spell again on those hogs. Not very good, fat, f not too much of a fan of that idea, but gets the job done as it was a three star. And that last heal spell does go down in the core of a base, and not too many hog riders left over. And the thing is, those skeleton traps are causing a real irritation for those hogs. And honestly, I don't think those all those defenses are. Go yes, one Tesla is still standing here, and I don't know. All you have left is a. Okay, you do have golems left, so that is lucky for him for him here. Golems nicely shield off the hidden Tesla, and this was a brilliant three-star attack. Well, brilliant, but quite lucky that those golems were still standing towards the end of a raid. And as we look maybe at one more def one more attack here, we might as well look at hardcore horse tier number 28 attacking their number 28. Mirror the mirror mirror attack here and starts off with well it's a hog ride attack once again favorite strategy i think in our clan and yes yeah, so it starts off by luring out this dragon it's going to bring it to the corner wonder what he's got in a clan castle i think he's got hog riders in a clan castle but um no nah, yeah he's definitely got hog riders in a clan castle because he's brought quite a lot of archers and wizards to deal with this dragon and the way he's done it he's put a big mass of those troops and hopefully Nope, he does not do that. He puts all the hogs on one defense. Very interesting idea. Not usually something I'm a fan of, but luckily they're splitting up here, but not very splitting up too evenly. So one side has been ignored, and those hogs do die off. So now this is the main area where the hogs are going. Those hogs in behind are now getting healed from that one heal spell. 34% in plenty of hogs. Still one more heal spell. And if any skeleton traps, traps get triggered, he can always use that poison spell on the skeleton traps. Or we can just save it because this is a definitely a three-star attack. So, one more, I guess. A little tip for hardcore host here. I'd say, oh, wow. Wow. See, if that was me, I would have lost because there would have been a double giant bomb there. And 
I would have stressed out as much as I would of before then. But yeah, brilliant hack hardcore horse. And one more tip I'd just say is do not put hogs all on one defense because if you do, then you don't really you don't really know where all those hogs are going to go and it's just all messy there. And you might not be able to pick out a good area to put hogs. But anyway, getting back to our most current war, we have seven more wins until 200. I'm thinking of doing a little 200 war special where you guys pick my attack strategies, but I'll get into more of details on our 195th war win here. But looking at their clan, connection not too good at the moment. 158 war wins, another Chinese clan. So we're definitely getting partnered up with quite a lot of Asian clans here. So hopefully this one doesn't make our war log look any more uglier than it is at the moment because of that one loss. But nonetheless, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to collect my clan castle loot and start upgrading a few walls and try get myself out to max Town Hall 9, hopefully, which will take about a year or so. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, share it, subscribe. And that's it from me, guys. And goodbye.